hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i constructed and personalized a soccer headboard for a child so i'm just gonna brief you on various steps that i took before i got to the personalization process the first thing i did was to draw the design for the headboard it's a soccer theme headboard for a queen bed i'm drawing a soccer ball but i'm not drawing the full shape i'm drawing a three quarter portion of the ball the headboard will be in two colors black and white so i have to mark various points on the board to show where the black will be and where the white will be as you can see this is how i place the marks on the board after i did that i transferred the design to a transfer paper to create a pattern and from my pattern i cut the fabric now i'm sewing the fabric i use leathered fabric after sewing i went straight into the upholstering As I mentioned earlier, this video will not focus mainly on the construction of the headboard. Instead, I'll give you step-by-step -step instruction on how I personalize the headboard. So I'll be personalizing this headboard by placing a child's name on it. After the headboard has been upholstered, I measured the space on it to gain the measurement for the font size. This is the headboard. I'll be placing the name on one of the white section. It's personalization time. I'm using the program Design Space. So now I'm typing the child's name. I'm changing the font to cream cake and the font size will be 28 centimeter by 18 centimeter. So I'm resizing the font to get the correct size on the mat. After I'm finished resizing, I'll just attach it and weld it to the mat. Then I'll just press make it so it looks pretty good on the mat so I'll just press continue and I'll just select the type of material which is vinyl I'll just select change the pressure to more then I'll just send it to the machine to be cut so this is how it looks after it came out of the machine so now it's time for me to weed out the letters. The weeding part can be the most tedious depending on the letter size and a number of other factors such as poor quality vinyl, etc. So now I'm taking off the vinyl from the mat because I'm just going to cut off the portion that I need and, you know, save the other portion for a future project. I'm using a paper cutter to make the cut so that I can get a straight line. I'm weeding now. So the weeding was pretty simple. So I must say that the quality of the vinyl is awesome.
now i'm going to transfer the letters to this transfer tape So I'm pressing the letters on the tape. I'm using a squeegee to press the letters in the tape. This method is called the burnish method. So I'm just doing this several times, you know, but because sometimes the tape is not taking up the letters. So this process, you just have to go over it several times. So as you can see, I'm doing the back, I'm doing the front and I'm just applying more pressure. As you can see, after applying so much pressure, the letters were not transferring to the tape properly. So I had to go back and burnish the letters some more to get it on the tape. Finally, the letter has been transferred. So I did not like the shape of the I. It looked like a U or a J. I wanted the letters to be readable for the child. So I went ahead and took off a little part of the I. Now I'm transferring the letters to the headboard. This part, guys, you have to have a steady hand. Once you place the letters down, it cannot be moved. So you have to be precise. Luckily, the transfer tape has lines, so I use them as a guide. Now I'm slowly burnishing on the letters on the headboard, after which I'll just remove the transfer tape and leave it for 24 hours without touching it for it to be cured. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Bye. I'll see you in my next DIY video.